being closed. Uh, both uh, party observers were in the room. They both agreed to go ahead and clo uh, recount those votes. So this has been something that's been taking place. In fact, they brought in the fire department. Reportedly, a couple dozen firefighters are there now to help catch up. They think that might have lost some time. It was already going to take a long time. The there. fire department is counting votes? County, and again, uh, we're going to be waiting a long time because of or is they there for a fire code? So many people in the building. Like, what is he saying? He, 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 what did he sound? He making it sound like the, the fire department is there to count the ballots. I'm assuming he's saying that it's the fire code. It's too many people in the building. Of course, thank you so much, Carl Nassman in Madison, Wisconsin. Now let's have a look at Arizona and we can speak to former U.S. Ambassador to Turkey, former U.S. Senator for Arizona, Republican Senator Jeff Flake is with us now. Thanks for being with us on BBC. Uh, what is your reading of what you're seeing in Arizona at the moment? Well, the poll is just closed and uh, <laughs> Arizona is not allowed to release any results for an hour. So we're still waiting with bated breath. In terms of, though, but, you know, up till now, you are Republican, but you're a Kamala Harris surrogate. You've decided to support her and to ask everyone else to support her as well. How do you think things have gone until this point? My guy just stood there well, and no stopped playing defense. Uh, none of the I never get over that, that now. That that's actually in the game. Kamala Harris have gone for Biden and vice versa. So we're waiting for the swing states, including Arizona. Arizona is going to be tight. Uh, you know, you can feel it on the ground there. Certainly. I never get over so, that. Uh, they they actually that. allow a person to stop really playing. have been focusing hard. One of the, the key demographics is on Republicans like yourself who don't want to vote for Donald Trump. And she's right. asking them to put country ahead of party. Are there many more That's people deep. like you who will do that and who will help her in some of these swing states? There are, and I think that's been a wise strategy. Uh, in Arizona, uh, Arizona went for Joe Biden uh, four years ago by about 10,000 votes, very narrow, uh, but she's hoping for the same uh, this time, and I'm hoping she gets there as well. But, but there are a number of Republicans, a lot of Republicans who feel like I do. We're conservative Republicans, but we've uh, felt out of place with the current party. So uh, I think there are a number of us who want to put country above party. Senator, from what we've seen um, in, you know, voters we've spoken to here at the BBC in Arizona, it seems like the Donald Trump campaign has been successful in talking to voters about issues that are important in Arizona around the country, but specifically immigration, of course, at the border and also economy, right. so high prices um, at, at the gas tank and also in grocery stores. Uh, what is it that you've been seeing with those voters? Because the Trump campaign feels like they've done a good job speaking to voters on those issues. Well, if you look uh, back in 2020, I think it was a little bit of an easier lift at that time for Republicans. Uh, but, uh, you know, Joe Biden came in. He was perceived as uh, Let's go. More of a moderate than uh, Kamala Harris is among a lot of Republicans. But that was before January 6th as well. January 6th. I'm still uh, talking about January 6th. Issue for Republicans, the conservative Republicans who believe in the rule of law. So there, there are some mitigating factors that, uh, that make it real, a real toss up still. Uh, yes, the border is a difficult issue for Democrats, certainly. Um, the I know that nigga was breaking the law before he did it. Like, like people, be going, people be throwing rocks and high in their hands in this politics shit. These yeah, niggas know that, man, be break, doing fuck shit. Expressing that, just like, for like it, it ain't, now. come on, bro. Time, of course, we had that rally in Madison Square Garden. Just like we know Kamala doing fuck shit, bringing out them women to some of the warm up acts. Wet ass on. pussy on stage. Do you think will that have helped you when you're talking about Arizona being so tight? Trump out there bringing out known criminal rappers. Like these people be playing, bro. Uh, thinking I, that that has had an impact. These people be out there putting on a good show, though. I ain't gonna lie, boy. They be putting on a good show. That's why I love it. I love the election. Because guess what? If you still falling for the election, and you over, now I'm gonna keep it a book. If you over, if you over 21, bro, and you still can't pay attention, y'all appreciate that love, Aven. If you over 21, you still getting caught up in this show, man. You, you tripping. You tripping, bro. You over 21, and you don't know that the, that this called politics for a reason. as well, we have Congresswoman Lisa McLean with us, a Republican from the state of Michigan. These people get paid millions of dollars to put on a good show, though. Very high turnout on a lot of. They do a good job. I ain't gonna lie. They do a good job. I gotta give them credit. A lot of optimism. So maybe I can put on concerts. 
Listen, they know how to get that money, boy. In already, we've had over. They know how to get that money. People got to give it to them. The they Michigan, get that break. Is a record total. Um, I, I think there's a lot of enthusiasm. I think there's a lot of optimism. Right, Martin. The one thing For that, some reason, my Elgato keep glitching out, bro. That is very. Like, what is going on? That I've seen in the past is his ability. To bring very unique just having little issues tonight, man. Under the yes, I shouldn't have been talking about that election uh, shit. Whether it be the Afri African American community, the Arab. They don't like when you talk about all that election shit. Um, it, it's the Teamsters. No, they start the messing with your technology. It's, uh, it's been pretty remarkable to watch. Congresswoman, can I start talking about that election? They start messing with your technology. You know what I'm saying? It's just a click of a button for them. Is women, and we know the Harris campaign has been looking for bad. Let me chill out. Vote in the suburbs of a city like Detroit, among women in particular, is this a place where you're seeing weakness for for Donald Trump? I actually think he's gaining a little bit, not much, with women to be to be quite honest with you. But I think there's a lot of women that aren't single issue voters. There's a lot of women who are tired of paying 30% more for groceries to feed their families. Right. They're yes. tired of paying $3.50 a gallon for gas. Um, the economics- I'm just, really yo, chat, women just offer hard, no tips on tax alone. <laughs> Man, that dude gained so many supporters, bro. You, you know how much people pay for tip? I mean, tax? I, I think that bro, no tax on, um, on what it was? We just heard no tax on um, right overtime. Yeah. What? Oh, oh, well. good night. I'm just saying though, if you if I had to play the show, I know who I would play the show for. Like I'm saying, I'm just saying I know it's a game on both sides. I don't agree with what is, from what I've been seeing. Come on, what is, come on, bro. You're telling me you ain't gonna tilt my overtime? Um just a couple weeks ago we had um all of the respected imams at a I mean you ain't gonna tax my overtime seeing Donald Trump. We had the mayor of Sterling. Bro, uh, this is another thing, though. What, what gets me is people don't want the rich people to get taxed, but don't want to pay what the rich people have to pay. I won if you understand that. Together underneath this Trump. So I, I would strongly disagree with my colleague. What does it mean for the Republican Party, though, beyond today's election, when there are some people who've come out so publicly for Kamala Harris? In order for the rich people to keep their jobs here, their companies, you have to give them a break. If you don't give them a break, they're going to take it and give it to the... Yeah, man. See, people people just be out here wilding. Okay, my boy say he understand exactly what I'm saying. People be wilding, bro. They don't want to pay what the rich people have to pay. But they don't want the rich people to take their jobs away to other countries. If the rich people don't get a break, do you know they're going to take their jobs? Do you know that's why the economy is in the situation it's in now? Because the rich people can't get a break? I'm just saying, though. I'm just saying, though. Do you know why people don't have a job? Do you know why over 800,000 jobs left the United States? Do you know they said they miscounted and said that we were missing 800,000 jobs? We didn't have a they said we had over a million some jobs. Then they come back and recount and say, oh, we missing 800. How do you miss 800 jobs? Hey, I'm 800,000, my bad. They miscounted 800,000 jobs. They said they miscounted. See, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you need to go You need to go, go, go see what I'm talking about because this is important. What I'm talking about is important right now. Congresswoman, great the, the jobs from Michigan. Thank you so much. For they miscounted 800,000 jobs, bro. Okay, well, our panel are still with us here. Jake Letourne. Come on, bro. There's no work out here for a lot of these people. Well, um, just t talking about Michigan there, um, we can just see some there's no, that's from like, and I'm not, no, I'm, I'm not saying there's no jobs out here. Some of y'all lying. You just don't want to go to work. Some of y'all just don't want to go to work. There's, there's people hiring. Some of y'all niggas lying. But, there are a lot of jobs that are leaving the United States. That's why dude said he gonna put a tariff on their ass. You think nigga just saying that shit to be saying it? No, jobs are actually leaving because people are, people don't want to pay. That's why they want robots. Are y'all not paying attention? Type one if I'm making sense to you. I know I'm just shooting up anything because I'm really I'm really trying to. Listen, so I do think that why do you think they want AI? They want AI because motherfucker don't want to pay, bro. They don't want to pay people. 
They want free labor. They're letting people into our country for two reasons, free labor and to vote. But That's the only reason. The Not because they want to help no people. They don't give a fuck about them people suffering and pain. Maybe there's you th bro, oh my God, it's coming to me. I'm getting, I'm getting downloads as I'm talking. I'm getting downloads as I'm talking. Do you think they care about they pain when we got people in America suffering right now? Okay, that's all I had to say, right? Your mother, your dad, your uncle, your aunt is suffering right now. Do the United States care about our pain? So you think they care about some foreigner pain? Oh my goodness. It could make it make sense. It's only two reasons they're letting people into the United States without being properly vetted. To vote and for free labor. Am I not making sense? That you got people in the United States right now need help, can't get it. But you think they care about foreigners? Older voters vote. Come on. You're not that gullible, right? More than men in this country. You can't be that gullible. Have more time on that. You're not that gullible, I know, right? Turn out and vote young voters. I have young voters. You can't be that gullible. Most of them do get to the polls most of the time, but not always. And you know, they have other distractions that are going on. And Michigan is so interesting. It had the highest youth voter turnout of any. I say you let you get some runs in. And it's kind of you got two big universities. I don't know. JG was here. He probably gone now. So we have to see where. So I ain't got no third. I'm just chilling, bro. I'm just we just seeing who's gonna win this and who gonna win this little show. Um it would be surprising to me if Donald Trump won young voters in those numbers in the whole particularly those college educated young voters, yeah. because they do tend to go more democratic, but let's wait and see until we have those results too. And the support from the older voters would mean that that poll that maybe is an outlier, maybe isn't from Iowa over the weekend that we saw. Yeah, well, I ain't got no third right now, I'm just low key chilling. You know what I'm saying? I thought I was gonna have some people pop out. She was onto something there. They're probably doing something. I some do though. think it was a trend line. I, I do think that when you look at the polling, it has been mm. drastically undercounting the women vote ever since the Dobbs decision. Mm. And that's why since 2022, uh, there was no red wave tw two years ago when there was historically supposed to be a red wave. And then even you had Democrats winning for governor. I'm not handling that bitch. Fly. And in seven states. Were I'm bad for the poor performance in the, the background. The performance. Stopped. You really shouldn't be paying attention to the performance anyway. You shouldn't be paying attention to what I'm saying tonight. I'm really talking game tonight. I'm really talking game tonight. And guess what? I have no issues with people that come from other countries. They want to be protected. Y'all do. Y'all do know that, right? Their voices are heard today. Anonymous have no issue with nobody from another country. Bro, if I was in another country that wasn't getting treated fairly, what you think I would do? Thanks, Katrina. That's as we said. The polls have closed. If I was in another country that I cannot grind and have a chance for for a lifestyle, a better lifestyle. Louisiana, the state. You think I would stay? Trump with its eight electoral votes again. I know. Louisiana, I would leave too. Republican state so, state in but state anybody that's in my chat and you coming from another country to the United States, eight electoral yo, for him. Now, you ain't did nothing wrong for, for, for trying to get a, a chance. Harris, this All you know is North in America, there's a chance that you can be poor. Middle class and rich. But see, the people in America have gotten so lazy and small that they don't even recognize their own benefit. My nigga said he need better performance. All right, let me try to do better. Let me try to do better. So hold on. What, what was I? I'm going to try to do better on the performance, but I'm, I'm talking heavy game right now. Uh, so where was moment, I? Where was I? The numbers that we have, the people that are from other countries, uh, all they know is that uh, we so have opportunity know, over here, y'all. We're just talking about you can be broke today Kansas, and go do Uber and have a thousand dollars by the end of the week. Uh, vote in the can you do that in other countries? And it's a big deal. It was a do you see the difference? Do you see why people want to come over here? If, if you can be broke today and go do DoorDash tonight, put some money in your pocket. Democracy, saving democracy. You can be broke today um, and go do in, in uh, Uber Eat. You can be broke today and go get you a $15 an hour job. We're on the wrong track. See, you know people broke today and they finna come over here and get that $11, that $13. Some are gonna get that $15, some are gonna get that $20. See, people see what we don't see. They see green grass. We refuse to, we here and can't even see the green grass. We here and can't even see the, yo, we here, we got so many opportunities to get money. We got internet, we got a 
said it, bro. We can get on there and make us videos, make us some TikTok. See, other people seeing it. They seeing it and they got their mouth wide open. They got their mouth wide open. It would have been otherwise. So this is what I'm trying to. Donald Trump was. This is what I'm trying to get you to understand. Before January sixth. Right? So this is about I'm not I'm not upset at nobody for leaving their country coming over here. Shit, you smart. You know it's green grass over here. You know it's green grass. You can come over here and man, how many how many immigrants came over here in three years? There are fucking thousandaires, multi-millionaires. And they only been over here one to three years. Uh, how many? Harris, how many? How many immigrants only been over here one to three years? Ownership. You know they just got over here, but they living better than you. It ain't all about the benefits. Yes, they get amazing benefits. Oh my God, they get some amazing benefits. Oh my goodness, these motherfuckers are getting thousands of dollars worth of food stamps. God damn. These motherfuckers are getting great health care. These motherfuckers are getting, uh, not only are they getting food stamps, but they getting the tan up, they getting the real cash. So yeah, they getting amazing benefits, but at the same time, guess what they doing? They working at McDonald's that you too proud to work at. Ooh, that boy talking tonight. Talk your shit. Thank New you, God. Thank you for the download. Thank you for the people that you put into my life to get this information so I can get to my people. Thank you, God. See, that's what God do. God gonna say, you know, I understand you want to help people, so I'm gonna put people in your face that you can get that information from, and then you can possibly go give it to your people. So we're gonna keep track of those projections for um, as they come. I wanted to play threes, but I ain't got my people song right now, so I'm solo, and I don't want to play with two random. When I say randoms, I mean like new people coming in from North Carolina. Yes, so we do have this new wave of data that's coming from exit poll data in North Carolina. <laughs> And oftentimes, uh, and because I'm talking, and I'm, uh, and I appreciate the follow. I'm talking about real shit, so I ain't really gonna be focused. So I know if I'm playing with my dogs, I can talk and play the game at the same time. I'm talking some gems right now. And I don't want to. But where was I? Okay, yeah, you too proud to work at McDonald's. You know, you know, you can't let nobody know you work at McDonald's, right? Yeah, you a gangster. You a thug. You a beauty queen. You was, you was the high school sweetheart. You know, everybody loved you. You know, you was the king. You was prom queen. You was prom king. You can't work at McDonald's. You can't work at Sonic's. You can't work at Buffalo Wild Wings. See, we too proudful in our country. But see, these people ain't too proudful, right? These people come over here and work whatever is hiring. They work the forms. They work the, the job that we refuse to work because, you know, we wouldn't look right up in there. Man, I ain't finna wear that motherfucking tight ass uniform, bro. Hell no, nah, they ain't finna catch me in that shit, dog. No, nah, you gotta be crazy, nigga. Hell no, nah, nigga. They ain't finna catch me in that bullshit. And you know, you see that dumb ass hat them nigga got to wear? You see what I'm saying, chat? We too proud for, for that, right? See, other people see that? Oh, what? Again, All they the see is ground beef this over is here. Data, so it's really they see chopped liver over here. This yeah, the, the things that we 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 talk about and we discussed it with our country. Somebody else is saying, "Wow, man, if I can just get over there to the United States, oh my goodness!" And you think they're not going to come and take a, take advantage of the opportunity? You what? See, if you ever play sports, you know exactly what's going on. For all my sport players in here, type one. You know what it feel like when you want that spot. Yeah, that's what they saying. They want that spot. For all my sport players in here, you should understand exactly what the immigrants are saying. Oh my goodness, I'm finna eat these motherfuckers a lot. They don't know how hungry I am. I've been waiting on this motherfucking opportunity. Coach, just give me one shot. Put me in the game, Coach. Please. Please, Coach. Coach, can I get in the game? Coach, can I get in the game? Coach, 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 come on, man. He injured. Uh-oh. He injured. See, it's a lot of niggas over here injured right now. It's a lot of niggas that don't want to get up in the morning. They injured. It's a lot of niggas that party last night. They injured. It's a lot of motherfuckers that smoking and drinking so they can't pass their test. They injured. It's a lot of motherfuckers saying, damn, all I got to do is not smoke weed? All I got to do is not drink? All I gotta do is actually be on time because that nigga ain't gonna be on time. Ooh, anonymous, don't say it like that. Don't hit him in the chest. Nah, that nigga ain't gonna be on time. But of course, now that it's so I'm gonna get his spot. I know he gonna be late. He got one more time to fuck up. 
what is happening and then they're gonna hire me they do believe and my whole family finna come over here and eat they think it's a hoax at the moment yeah because we're gonna share our wealth we're gonna work together and we're gonna get this money it's a lot of us we injured right now we sitting back crying and weeping and whining and bullshitting how far can you go I agree with her. You can go as far as you want to go, but you got to stop being injured. And somebody else is looking at you like dog meat right now. And you dog food to somebody else. Somebody else is saying, I hope he don't go to work today. Listen, they got this black guy. They got this white girl. They got this, this black girl. She always talking on the phone. You know what I'm saying? I'm just hitting you with the stereotypical shit. I'm just, I'm just hitting you with the bullshit, but, but, but pay attention though. I'm just hitting you with the bullshit. What all the stereotypes they say? You know, the white dude, he back there smoking milk. He's sniffing coke in the bathroom. You know, the black people, they've been drinking. They done smoke all kind of pounds of weed before they came to work. The, the manager been talking about it. They're going to fire him soon. When they fire them, don't worry. I'm going to call you. He already asked me if I know anybody that want a job. Hold on. You ain't never had a job where the manager asked you, did you know anybody that looking for work? I have. I have had plenty of jobs where the niggas say, hey, you know anybody looking for a job? Everybody I knew, though, they can pass drug tests. Kamala Harris. So I don't know nobody. I but I'm looking at this person that I'm working with. Oh, he or she knows somebody. So we wonder why we can see LeBron James do nepotism, but we can't do nepotism. You know why we can't do nepotism? Because our friends and family are doing what? Partying and drinking. President Trump didn't say anything about they oversleeping. Yeah, they ain't wake up in time. See, all of us can do nepotism. If our fucking peers and the people that we love is doing the fucking right thing, we can get their ass on the job too. But you can't get the nigga on the job. You can't get her on the job the, if they uh, fucking off their life. Well or the latest job so, yeah, we don't get to do nepotism. So, you got a lot of people that's upset with LeBron James by hitting nepotism. But you know who been doing nepotism? The people that own the corporation that LeBron James worked for. See, we can look at the high roads do nepotism all day, every day, because they family clean. And I think they, they got the paperwork, the and then some of them might not be clean. But you won't know they dirty. See, we can look at our I mean, homies and partners and girlfriends and, and boyfriends, and, and you can know they dirty. The so I what you think? They know you dirty, and they, they ain't gonna hire you if they can see that you dirty. But see, they'll hire a nigga in a suit on it. But see, they don't know he not dirty. See, there's so many niggas out here in a suit that's dirty as fuck, but you can't tell. See, the image means something. When you start thinking that the image don't mean something, then you already lost the game. You already out. The image is the sale. So you don't keep your pants on your way. You don't have a hair cut. Your fingernails dirty. You smoking so much weed that they can smell it on you. See, you know what? You know some niggas actually shoot the weed in their vein. So you can't see it on them. Yeah, that's another. That's see, that's another conversation right there. You know some niggas they inject this shit. They put it in their toes, in between their toes. Uh uh. Every See, they let you know Anonymous been around the block. Yeah, I've been around the block. I done seen it. I done seen the niggas put it between a big toe and that and that, that long toe. Yeah, so you can't find that mark on them. The only way you find that mark on them, you got to be sleeping with them, right? Because you got to see them with a sock off. See, I'm telling you, some niggas know how to look clean, but dirty as fuck. So that's what I'm saying. It's a lot of nepotism going on. Including... But some of us will never get to do nepotism. Yeah, I mean, it was six That's how people are looking too dirty. Pennsylvania, and now it's down to three dollars. Yeah. And in some places in Jersey, it's less than three dollars. Man, I just cook so, y'all then. Though. I ain't gonna lie, I just hit y'all with some bangers. Yeah, type it's one if I just drop some bangers um, on y'all. You know, part of it was type one if I just drop some bangers. I'm dropping so many bangers right now. I'm taking mad L's. All the <laughs> You know, I might even be losing to anybody, but it's all right. Though I'd rather lose in a video Trump game than to lose in real life. Donald Trump. Uh, and then, oh you know, my God! Like, stop it, anonymous! You know, stop it! Stop it! You just cutting up right now. You said you were gonna lose on a video game and lose in real life. I did say that. I did. Support and candidacy. Stop it, anonymous! Stop it. Tens of millions of them. Trust Donald Trump more on the Come on, man. And for the first time in Come on. their lives, it's why you Come see on, man. showing up. They feel like someone is actually. Come on, y'all. We can do case. better. I know. We don't have to be. Uh, we don't have to be in last place. We choosing to be in last place. Says and does, 
But for regular and I'm not just talking to anybody that's black. I'm speaking to anybody in here that's choosing to be in last play. I know a lot of my lingo may sound like I'm just talking to my race. But nah, that ain't that type of guy I am. I'm a guy for I'm a, I'm a man of uh, I'm a man of the people. Yeah, I don't have no race. I have brothers and sisters in the chat. It's a difference. So. Yes, I'm just saying though. From his dad and he declared six bankruptcies. We when gotta stop. He had six years you know, a lot of people complaining. Oh, they're coming to take my job. Now, they wouldn't uh, take the job if you were showing up on time. Can somebody and take your job if you was doing all you can do at your job? It wouldn't be no such thing as yes. coming to America taking my job. Who the fuck taking your job? Well, I mean, was you there? Well, I didn't go last week because I wasn't feeling good. Well, goddamn. What you think? The, what you think? The nigga just gonna wait on you? Nah, the nigga gonna replace you. You got to go. Bye bye. We wouldn't have some of these issues if you did what you're supposed to do. But you wasn't feeling good. Why you wasn't feeling good? Well, I mean, we it was my birthday, so we had to, we turned up. Oh, it was your birthday, and you went to turn up. So now you sick, you got a hangover, and you showed up at work, and you got cut, you injured yourself. Now they say, yo, we got to do a test on you. Um, it's a standard protocol that anybody get injured, they got to get a test ran on them. Well, I don't need no test ran on me. Ain't they wrong with me? Oh, you don't want to get the test ran on you because you know you dirty. See, you done got dirty, and you done went to work and got injured. Republican now you upset that they got to do what they supposed to do because they got to protect their business. Because if they don't protect their business, how many people that did quit may lose their job because they didn't do what they supposed to do? Now you came back and sued them because you got injured? See, we don't think about all that. We just think about how can we protect ourselves. But we ain't thinking about all these other people that got this job. Democrat so, and Republican, and that's we have to get you know how that shit works? When you have the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, when you stop caring about you and you start thinking about other people, thing that, keeps them up that means you will start respecting things different, right? Is your national debt. You will start treating things different. Say it just like, you know, in my own personal relationship with my lady. You know, I haven't always been the best of boyfriends because, because I guess I only cared about myself. But I like, damn, that don't look right, do it? Donald Trump. How you in a relationship and it's only it's only about you? That ain't fair, is it? Well, you know, some of us don't know no better. But when you know better and you still doing wrong, oh my goodness, that's a different type of feeling. See, some of y'all in here, you know you fucking up, and you still doing it. I know you hurt right now because I'm saying it. I know it. Yo, your flesh is burning right now. I'm pointing out your flaws. It's okay. I had to point out my own flaws, nigga. Don't you think I felt the same way? Don't you think I was burning inside when I had to look in the mirror and face my own flaws? When I had to realize. Nigga, I'm the same guy that I'm talking about. I said, damn, this look, this hurt. Shit, I need to make a difference. Because this don't feel good. I'm giving y'all all that game, but I was still making the same mistakes. I'm still hanging out all night. I'm still spending all my money at the parties. I'm still drinking. Oh, I can't be doing that. See, I can talk this. I can talk like this now. And you can hear it in that voice because I've been making steps, man. I'm running. I was crawling at first. I think I'm running now. Y'all know. I, I told y'all, man, I, I'm not a drinker. We ain't, we ain't putting the alcohol up to our mouth no more. You know, uh, we may take sips, but it ain't no, I ain't in no hurry. You know what I'm saying? I'm watching and learning things that going to uh, move me forward. Like I told my partner, uh, nigga, we keep the chains moving like in football, nigga. First down. Uh, Illinois third and third and three. Harris. So let's look at where we are now. Third and I mean fourth and one. We going for it. We going for it. Fourth and one. Fourth and inches. We going for it. I ain't never played a football game on men and didn't go for it on fourth and one. The fuck I look like. How you? You the type of nigga that put on fourth and one on a video game? You lame. You lame. Who the fuck put on a fourth and one on a video game? Who don't believe they can get one fucking yard? I'm just looking at the popular vote as well. Nigga, I'm moving my change, nigga. Every day I wake up, I'm I'm putting the right things in my life, nigga, to keep moving the change, nigga. Ooh.
I'm talking so cold right now. Oh, I'm talking spicy on you niggas. But I'm talking spicy to myself too, nigga. Because every day I motivate you, I motivate me. You think I'm just going to be giving you this game and I ain't going to give myself the game? I wish I would. You think I'm going to give you this game and I give my lady this game? You think I'm going to give you this game and I give my daughters this game? You think I'm going to give you this game and I give my peers this game? I wish I would. I wish I would be that stupid. I wish I would come over here and keep giving y'all the gems and I'm not getting the gems too. You got me fucked up. I'm going to feed you, but I ain't going to feed me. Get the fuck out of here. Equipment Man, I'm talking here. spicy right now. So I'm talking so spicy right now, but I love it, though. Because I'm just motivating myself every time some words come out of my mouth that make sense. Ooh, I just feel so good, and I'm just blessed to be able to share this. This is my passion right here. This is what I'm meant to do, bro. This is, I, 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 no, this is the election for me. This is, my, this is my Super Bowl. When I get to tell you, don't worry about who's going to win the election. Because your life got to still keep going. You still got to show up at work tomorrow. You still got to show up at work tomorrow. Uh, who, no matter who wins this election, you got to hit that clock, baby. You got to hit that clock. No matter who wins this election, your girlfriend still needs you. You can't just be selfish and be all about you. No matter who wins this election, you still got to buy them diapers. You still got to get that milk. No matter who wins this election, you still, you still got to be lawyer and trustworthy. No matter who wins this election, you just signed that contract and, and, and told them people you're going you gonna to get them 60 loads, you're going to be at work on time, and you're going to do what you're supposed to do. You can't break this contract no matter who wins this election. You can't stay in bed and say, I'm going to take a day off. No matter who wins this election, you still got to eat, man. You still got to put food on the table. No matter how high the grocery really get, guess what? You still got to find. North Carolina, they're just with Christian. What happened if you don't buy him? Helena Humphrey is there for us. Uh, Helena, you ain't going to be around long to play 2K with us. Bye-bye. This nigga stopped eating. Why he stop eating? He was mad because his president didn't win the election. God damn, that nigga stopped eating. Yeah, that nigga stopped eating. That nigga said the grocery was too high. He wasn't getting, he wasn't out there making no money. Nigga said his president didn't win the election. What the fuck? I mean, so he just, he done? Yeah, he done. All right. Well, that's another nigga that we ain't got to worry about taking money off our plate. He's just another nigga out the way. I guess you're going to be complaining about the immigrants. See, anonymous don't complain about the immigrants. I complain about the bullshit that the government have given and not have given the American citizen. But it's anonymous worried about an immigrant taking his position. I'm not worried about an immigrant taking what I got. You know why? Because I go to work and I show out. <laughs> they can't do it. They can't take my spot. I, they can't take my spot because I get on 2K and I talk. See, they ain't gonna, they can't say what I'm saying. I'm not worried about losing my position. See, you worried about losing your position because you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing. See, the only person that worries about losing their position is the person that's not doing what he or she supposed to be doing. Anybody else is saying, well, I mean, well, fuck it. The immigrants, you know, they're looking for a home. They ain't they looking for a home. I'm just saying, though. You know, we can, we can blame. We, we know the government on bullshit. Have you stopped living though? You know how much money they gave to the motherfucking other people? They sent out billions. Did you get the memo? <laughs> they sent out billions, hundreds of millions. So, did you did you stop living when they sent out the first stimulus check? Not, I ain't talking the stimulus check that you got. I'm talking the one that the other countries got. The ones that had them them zeros behind it. See the stimulus check we got just had two zeros behind it. I'm talking about that one that they got that had them couple M's on it. Did you stop? Did you stop living? You might have cried a little bit and whined a little bit, but you still had to keep living, huh? So guess what? No matter who win the election, guess what you got to do? You gonna have to keep living. See, you see what I'm saying? Your life ain't gonna stop. You gotta keep living. So, you know what I'm saying? Just get the memo. Anonymous just trying to rap to you. I'm just trying to rap to you before, you know what I'm saying? It's too late to rap to you. Because at some point, it's going to be too late to rap to you. 
you know? I just tried to catch myself before it was too late to, to be a rapper. See, I'm not, I'm not here to rap to you. I'm here to catch you before you get caught up in the rap. As my nigga OG person to say, See, you can get wrapped up. You can get caught up in this game and you can get, it can be over with for you. So you better understand. You better understand. Your life is going to still go on. And if you choose to stop living based off of who win the election, based off of what your friends doing, based off of what your girl pending, you niggas are quitting life because you got, you know what I'm saying, fucked over in your relationship. That's a reason to quit life. That's a reason to give up. But only roughly 80 you find out she don't love you no more. But she don't love me no more. His term and ah, ah, what? So you done? You done and living? She will work to so you gonna give up? You done? It's all way for you. Oh man. Well, that, you're another nigga out the way. You're another nigga out the way. You gonna to give up? On See, a lot of you niggas, you giving up too easy. To and somebody else is just waiting. Oh man, they wait. They wait. They said that nigga is on the verge of giving up. Oh, I'm going to get that spot. Some of you niggas right now, you got a spot so good and you don't even know it. See, I got a spot that's so good. I almost gave, lost my spot. You know, I got a family. I got two beautiful daughters uh, with, with my lady. And then I got another beautiful daughter, my, my oldest child. I got some beautiful kids. I almost lost my spot, though, because I couldn't see. But it's hard to see sometimes, man. It's, like I said, y'all, it's, it's so much noise out here. Sometimes we can't, we can't, we got all this noise in our face and we can't see. Got them, we got clouds in our eyes. The, the sun is not in our eyes. You know what I'm saying? We can't even see what we got sometimes. But I tell you what, though, the other nigga is waiting on you to be blind. Keep being blind. Keep being blind and can't see what's in front of you. Keep being blind about your good job. But you complain about your job every day. But it's some people. See, go look. Some of you niggas ain't looking. There's some niggas out here ain't got a job. And they five up. Them niggas is looking for somebody's job. They gonna be getting your motherfucking job you keep bullshitting. And talk to us a little Some niggas right now are looking for a girlfriend. You feel and you like complain about yours. Because she got a couple flaws. The that but you act like you don't got no flaws. Don't you got flaws? Puts on the well, I mean, man, but she, that shit she be doing. For example, well, I mean, what the shit you be doing, though? You, you see what I'm saying? Like, we got to start. We got to do. We got. You know how they do the fact checking in the presidential shit? We got to fact check. You got to ask yourself. What has happened under the Am I being reasonable about this complaint that I have? Or am I just keeping up shit? I, I, I was, uh, me and my lady, you know what I'm saying? We've been doing good. We've been trying to get back healthy. And, um, she did something that I normally would get upset about in the past. I had caught myself in the midst of me starting shit. Because I was about to start shit. Because I'm used to starting shit. I'm used to finding the issue. Because I need things to be perfect. And things ain't going to never be perfect. But in my head, I'm looking. I needed to be right. Needed to be right. And so we coming back together. And we trying to build our family. And something came up that was in the past that I normally would have an issue with. And I said, oh, you know what? I'm just trying to start something. But I caught myself. Are you able to do that? Are you able to catch yourself when you want to quit your job because of this nigga piss you off? Or she piss you off? Or the manager piss you off? Are you able to catch yourself when your husband piss you off? When your boyfriend piss you off? Are you, are you able to catch yourself when your kid do some stupid shit? See, we got to learn to catch ourselves. And now I'm in the phase where I'm learning to catch myself. Well, that's a beautiful thing. When you able to catch yourself with some fuck shit, oh, nigga, you about to do some fuck shit. Yeah, I was about to do some fuck shit. When you, that's a beautiful thing, and that's a message from God, bro. Because, listen, you ain't even that intelligent enough. You ain't even that aware enough to catch yourself by yourself, nigga. You ain't that cold. But you can get that cold. All you got to do is keep working on yourself. You can be the nigga that now catch yourself and you can get that divine power. You can get that divine strength. 
transportation is that awareness get them because see we ain't just built like that and that's where we without going through some stand things by Donald you got to go through some things to get that type of superpower when you can catch yourself on fuck shit. when you can say damn nigga i'm more drunk that beer right there i'm more having another sip when i know i gotta go to work uh-uh nigga i'm more i'm more did it i almost hung out with that dude when i know he be on fuck shit. i almost hung out with that nigga bro I almost went home with that girl and, and you know you got a lady at home I almost gave him my number when you know you know you got a boyfriend I almost gave him my number Ooh, girl he was so fine I almost gave him my number I put my nigga man that bitch was looking good well I almost I almost you gotta catch yourself we got temptation we live in the real world but we gotta catch ourselves because this temptation is waiting and sneaking up on us this temptation is looking through the blinds like ooh, i'm gonna get this nigga for y'all that believe in the devil you think the devil ain't saying that boy come on just, just come on just just give me a chance just hang out with me for the night that's what the devil's saying right that's what, that's what the devil said. The devil just said, I just need a second of your time. That second of your time could be the last second you get on this earth. How many people you know that happened to? I know a few. They just wanted to hang out with for a second. That second led them to years in prison. I got friends that 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 that, that, that happened to. I got friends that they smoked that blunt one time. And they never came back to being normal. They call it primo. Yeah, I got, I got, see, I got a real life story. You got the real life story too. Huh? You think I'm, I'm, the, so I'm the special one. I'm the only one that got the stories of where the one time he did something and your friend ended up in prison, or the one time he did something he ended up dead, or the one time he did something he ended up primo. I ain't the only one got the story. Or the one time you you went out with that nigga and he did something that you didn't like. Because the point that the congresswoman the one time you hung out with that dude and he touched you in a way that you wasn't expecting to be touched. Record crossings across. We all got them stories where the friends and told us, or you'd have been in yourself. See, I can tell you about my own personal story where the one time I hung out with this dude and I end up having a dirty gun on me. Kamala Harris also during her time and I know. I know this family member is a bad family member, but that one time I hung out with him, I ended up holding a dirty gun, ended up almost doing something that I shouldn't have been doing. I know that one time I hung out with this friend, he told me just ride, and we end up robbing a store. I know what them one time look like. I ain't the only one, right? I know what that one time look like when she say, you know, just come over. We ain't gonna do nothing. And the Republicans would say, what? Why did he not take? I know what the one time look like when take action before you and your friends go out. Well, no, and as you know, he absolutely. And one of them don't come home. Trump spiked the bipartisan border bill because some tragic that happened. I know what that one time look like when you say you're gonna take a, a little ride and you crash, you crash your car, you end up in jail, and nobody answer the phone. I know what that one time look like. I know what that one time look like. So this is what I'm saying, y'all. Quit playing. You know what that one time look like. You know what that one second look like? That one second is scary. Because in that one second, it can be your last one second. Thank you. Um, so you in my last one second, guess what I want to be doing? I want to be giving some game to somebody that won't. And even if you don't want it, you know, I was looking at my YouTube channel and it's starting back slow, right? I said, man, ain't a lot of people watching my videos no more. I said, damn, I done left so many times. I ain't got my core supporters back, you know, so I ain't really, ain't nobody checking for my YouTube no more. Then guess what? I caught myself again, y'all. Guess what I did? I caught myself again. I said, I got four day views. Okay, somebody watch. I used to get a thousand, a hundred. I said, damn, man, I ain't feeling this, man. Ain't nobody really watching my content like they used to. I keep leaving. They keep this. They probably like, damn, we tired of him leaving. 
believe in itself. They find another people to watch. I said, damn, I got four day views. Okay, I got somebody then. So are you doing a mission for fame? Are you doing a mission for somebody? Are you saying all this stuff because you want to blow up and you want people to notice you? Are you saying this because you want just somebody to say, I understand what you're saying, Anonymous. I'm going to go to work tomorrow and I'm going to do all I can do. And I'm going to be the best worker at my job until I can one day get my own business. I'm going to go hard at this job right here. I got you, Anonymous. I hear what you're saying. Man, I just got chill just saying that. As long as one person say, I'm going to be faithful to my family. I'm going to be faithful to my religion. Whatever you believe in. I'm going to be faithful to my, my husband. I'm going to be faithful to my wife. I'm going to be faithful to my school work. I'm going to be faithful to my football practice. I'm going to be faithful to my basketball practice. Oh my goodness, nigga, you talking to me. Look at that. My girl clapping in the background. And you see, I'm doing all this in front of her. You see what I mean by when you get to teach? Yeah, I don't just teach y'all. I teach my household too. But sometimes we just need to hear things. Sometimes we keep so much inside, we just need to have a way to say it. And that person that watching you, that studying you, whether it's your kid, whether it's a friend, they sitting there watching you and they want to do what you're doing. They want to be like you. They want to be around you. They're trying to figure out the blueprint how to be on your level. But we never know who watching. We never know who listening. That's why at all times, Sometimes we have to be trying our best to do the right thing because if you're doing the wrong thing at the right time that person that is watching you just got hit with that bug they just got hit with that bug you was doing the wrong thing at the right time for them and it was for them that now have changed their life in a way that can't be fixed do you understand that and let me show you something else important to note that this is coming from I was not supposed to win that game do you know that you know I wasn't supposed to win that game but because I'm doing the right thing at the right time the universe made him miss that shot and you probably think nigga this is a video game but it ain't that simple though that's what I be trying to get y'all to understand this shit is in everything we do you probably say bro you can't even say that it's a video game yes I can he missed that shot because I'm doing the right thing at the right time. And the little gratification that I received was, we're going to let you win this one right here. But not only am I going to win that, I get to have my lady in the background clap for me. I get to have my G right here just gift the sub. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm trying to show y'all what divine power look like. When you're doing the right thing, things will happen for you that you can't even explain when i'm driving sometime and i'm trying to get out and i said man i said don't get mad you never know what that person got to do i have seen i was trying to get out of a parking lot somebody just zoomed in they wouldn't let me out a lady walked by and because that lady walked by it caused traffic to have to bag up in a way that I was able to get out. Democrats have actually won that. I'm trying to explain to y'all when you're doing the right things, the universe will favor you. You're going to have to pay for some of the things you have done because that's, they said karma is karma. But I'm telling you, you can start today and still gain the positives of the world. And because you're doing the right thing, you can be forgiven to some of the bad you have created in this world, to some of the bad karma that you have placed out here in this world. Some of that stuff going to go away. It has to because there's this side of it's being tipped over into the positive side. If my scale is being tipped over into the positive side, how can I keep getting negative results? Ooh, 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 that nigga is talking. Let me repeat that one right now. That was cold. If my scale is being tipped over to the positive side, how can I keep getting negative negative results? Oh my goodness, boy, you need to get you a preacher book. I don't need no booth. I got a goddamn booth right here on Twitch. Different times, there are polls still over. Man, this is what I'm trying to explain to y'all. There is power. The power is in the decisions you make. That's why I try to tell my lady, you know, the other day, we have to make decisions 
this time. That says that we are in control of our life. Because if we make the right decision, we will be favored. If the polls have been right, good has to come to you if you're doing the, the things that lead to good. If I get up seven days a week and work out, what you think my body gonna do? He gonna show seven days a week working out. If all you do is play and eat chips, What's your body going to look like? It's going to say that all you do is play and eat chips. What would it look like if I played 2K every day? My game play is short, right? Why am I so good at 2K? Because of the, the, the consistent years of putting in the same work of being understanding of the game, being good at the game. You know what I'm saying? So my game play show that I have been consistently taking in the knowledge of a good 2K player. So even when I'm like, I've been over here talking, I've been losing, but I've been winning a lot of games. Talking, not even really focusing, not even really paying attention, but still winning. So your decisions will lead to whatever results you want. And, and you know, and that's why they say, if you're not where you want to be, all you gotta do is keep it. Go pull a spreadsheet on the decisions you make. The last ten, the last three years, look at your decisions, and you will see exactly that you're right where you're supposed to be. That's why you know I heard something said. We're all exactly where we're supposed to be. Right, right now, where me and my lady at, we're exactly where we're supposed to be. Because we didn't do the proper well, things to protect what we have. Here, actually, when the crowd we didn't, we didn't, because we take things for granted. So we don't protect our investments. We don't protect our families, our homes. We don't protect our relationships, our business. So when you start losing things in life, all you can do is reflect on yourself and look exactly in the mirror and say, damn. I mean, I'm, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. If you're single right now and your girl just walked out on you, that's why, you know, you know, shit that I did wrong. If, if I was to lose my family based off the poor decisions I have made, could I be mad? I couldn't because I put myself there. Now, why would I, I could only be mad if I didn't do what I'm being accused for. If I didn't rob the bank and I'm being put in jail for robbing the bank, I would go crazy, right? Don't you think it's a lot of people that in jail for things they ain't do? Hmm. We wonder why they crazy. We wonder why they ain't in jail and they can't control their, their rage and their anger. You think everybody in jail is actually guilty? Well, you can't be living in the real world. <laughs> You think everybody guilty? And you don't think they made no mistakes? <laughs> wow. Guess you. I guess they really did a number on you. You don't think the you don't think the system made no mistakes, huh? You think everybody in jail is innocent? Maybe innocent for something, but is they innocent for what they've been convicted of? So, you know, I'm just I'm just dropping gems on you right now. I'm just kicking game. I think I said a lot of amazing stuff tonight, man. I'm so proud of myself. Thank you, God, for allowing me to. You know, I just got chill saying thank you, God. Um, Looks like it's going to be Thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak to so many people. To have my lady in the background and to hear the words that are coming out of my mouth because it's not just me speaking tonight. No, I'm, I'm so happy that I can continue to shine light on somebody. You know, I'm not trying to be a special person because I am a special person, so I'm not going to even dumb myself down. I'm not going to dumb myself down. You see how I caught myself? I was going to lower myself to make y'all feel some type of way, but I am special. You are special too. And if you don't know you're special, that's why you feel some type of way about me saying I'm special. Yeah, I know I'm special. You got to know you're special. And when you know you're special, we can all live in peace. There's so many, it's so much jealousy and hate out here because a lot of us haven't found what we love. Once you find what you love, it's easy to pour into others. It's easy to support and bless and give. You know, so that's why I can come over here and give this to y'all. Because this is this is my purpose. My purpose is to be a blessing to somebody's life by 
staring the, the, the dreams and the and the goals of loyalty of, of hope no I don't really like to use the word hope but I'm just saying though we're here to promote happiness we're not here to promote fear we're not here to promote poor activities you know I find myself coming back to twitch so much why do I keep leaving and coming back, y'all? Why? Why do I keep leaving Twitch and coming back? Because I told myself that my dream was to travel the world and help people. But come to find out I've been traveling the world on Twitch from the day I got on here. From the day I got on here, somebody said, Hey, what's good, Anonymous? I'm from Memphis. Hey, what's good, Anonymous? I'm from... California. Hey, what's good, Anonymous? I'm from Detroit. Hey, what's good, Anonymous? I'm from Germany. Hey, what's good, Anonymous? I'm from Australia. I've been traveling the world doing my mission this whole time. So that's why I keep ending up back here. I keep wondering why I leave and come right back. As I'm traveling the world, doing what I'm supposed to do. This will make me happy. That's one definitely that Donald Trump will have been counting on. So this will make me happy. It makes to that race to two seven. So well, you can see there it brings Donald Trump up to one. You know, find your purpose. Don't get distracted by all the noise that you hear. Quite away for both of them. To um, go. And uh, with the politics, we'll what happens as the night progresses now with the celebrities, Pennsylvania, there are another key state those people have a purpose. You know why they get paid Wisconsin so much money right up there. so that they can keep us from our purpose. Country, and we That's why they get paid the millions and the, the billions of dollars. Of if they can entertain us long enough for us to not to realize what our purpose is on this earth, then they have earned a millions of dollars. And as long as we're watching these people and paying attention to them 24 7. Of course, thank Listen, you so much. Listen, we're going to take breaks in life. Very close state. I want to or else we'll go crazy. Both sides. But when we take so many breaks that we know everything about this celebrity, everything about that celebrity, everything about this person, you have failed your own self. Because guess what? Do you know all? Do you know everything about you? I know you don't. Because I don't know everything about myself. I'm 32, and I'm just finding out some things that I like about me. Milwaukee that I ain't even know I like. Stated, uh, like what the hell? Just a, so a, a small error it's, we'll we got work to do on ourselves. Uh, then to be worried about go what's going on in somebody else's life. Drink already, and I'm ready so that's why they get paid so much money, y'all. They get paid a lot of money to keep us from learning about us. Have been and they not do, and that's why they get to have a pass because. In they mind, they really convicted on, I'm not distracting you. I didn't force you to watch me. I didn't force you to come to my basketball game. I didn't force you to download league pass, NBA TV pass, and all these things. You did it on your own. So that's why they feel like they ain't really doing nothing. That's why they feel like they still at peace with their God. Yeah, I just said some real shit, but that might go over some of y'all head, though. Who are talking about just how hard it's hitting their wallet. Mm. I can tell you the problem has been greed. The problem has I might been go over some of y'all head right there. Because a lot of folks, uh, a lot of business leaders have decided to raise it's prices. It's easy for them to manipulate us when they feel really like they didn't force us even to more under a to do Trump it. Presidency. And that's a message uh, we've tried to hammer mm. home. And as the cost of living continues uh, yeah. to increase, people like Donald Trump and uh, his act. But I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to chill out. What time it is? It's 10 12, man. So I'm going to go ahead and get off. I'm going to get off. This gonna be my last one for the night. I'll be back tomorrow. He said, You help me, bro. Thank you. Sometimes I go back and rewatch your old real talk videos. Man, we know I appreciate that, big dog. Thank you. The unfortunate thank you, man. I appreciate you. Share with you know, you don't have to share my message. How about what you got out of that? You share what you got out of it with somebody that's watching you. You know, because like I said, we all got somebody watching us. You know, we got to share this information. And I'm not saying, hey, you got to share my information. Like, share my video so they can see it. What I'm saying is, share your opinion of what you got with somebody 
Like, for example, like say you watch the video, then you say, okay, this is what I interpret, and this is how I want it. Because we got to spread this. We spread, we spread how many points Steph Curry had last night. Do you see that? We spread all the shit that don't matter. We know we can spread around how many women did he fuck. Republicans are actually in office. But why can't we spread around the information that's useful? Anything to actually like, let's not be eating all this fucking candy. Great to speak to you. Let's not eat all these chips. Let's not eat sugar food all day. She's got another projection for us. Let's not just go play 2K all day and not work on. See, I've told y'all, man, I, I love what I do with 2K. I use 2K to touch a broad audience and sell my drug. And my drug is God. Yeah, that's my drug. I may don't do the drug like you do the drug, but I still do the drug. And that's God. My, you know, I'm still on the, I'm, I'm on peace. I'm on love. I'm on happiness. I'm on understanding i'm on knowledge i'm on being a, a brother to you i'm on being a a, a, a brother i'm on being a respectable neighbor to you i'm on being a leader you know what i'm saying i'm on making sure i don't influence your kids to do something they shouldn't be doing so i'm just trying to i'm just trying to abide be a abiding law by citizen but I'm still going, you know, you know, I'm going to cut corners on this system because this system is unfair. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get on. Sometimes I'm going to do things in this system that's going to be said is illegal. Like I might walk across the street when the light is red. Because, hey, you know, I'm just saying. If you understand what I'm saying. So this is a really good example. Twigs, you've got 92% of the counted now. Uh, I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna get. I gotta go to the gym in the morning. You can see that she's actually doing. I didn't go to the gym today. I took a rest, a break today. My trainer said I need to start taking more breaks and stuff. Can you lose? As you know, he trying to see. See what I'm saying? Like I gotta force myself not to go to the gym. Because the trainer said rest is the number one thing. And then I go research, and yeah, rest is the number one thing. But boy, it's hard to take rest. It's hard not to go to the gym and hit a couple of them weights. I'm not, and I don't even like going. To, I'm not a gym person. I don't like working out. But anybody that think I like working out, I don't like working out. You think I like pain? But guess what? Another bar I'm finna drop on you. I know what I'm gonna get for taking this pain. I know the results I'm gonna get for doing this. I know the results I'm gonna get for showing up at work on time. I know the results I'm going to get for going to work, not playing sick. I know the results I'm going to get for being a, a, a better father. I know the results I'm going to get for being a better boyfriend. I know the results I'm going to get for, for learning, for reading books. I know the results I'm going to get for listening to audio books. You see what I'm saying? So I hate the gym. Yeah, I tell, I, I tell anybody I hate the gym. And that's true. I'm not just saying it because it sounds cool. I hate the gym. I don't like lifting weights. The shit fucking hurt. But I know the results I'm going to get. So I go. I'm addicted to it. I'm addicted to the results. I fucking hate the gym. I don't like the fucking gym. I don't like going to that place. I don't like lifting that fucking heavy shit. I don't know who in their right mind like the gym. But guess what? My trainer say he like it. I know other people that say they like it. When they ask me, they say, bro, but you look like this. I don't give a fuck what I look like. I hate this shit. This shit heavy. Shit fucking hurt. I don't want to come in this motherfucking place wasting fucking an hour. I'm not wasting, but I'm just saying I got to be in here an hour, two hours, three hours. You think I want to be in here when I can go be doing something else? But I know the results are fight. So I come here, I guess. I guess I'll come to the gym. I know the results are going to benefit me, so I, I guess I'll be back tomorrow. You see what I'm saying? Fuck, you think I want to get up at 5 in the morning while everybody else still in the fucking bed? Make it make sense. You think I want to get up at 5, 4, 30 in the morning, everybody's still in the bed, and I hear my ass up talking about working out. That's why I look like this, and everybody that's still in the bed look how they look. It's been a really good night for Republicans so mm. far in Ohio, it appears. But it's just the truth. Should I lie? See, that's what happened. We start doing things that we hate, but the results are amazing. See, when we start reading the books that we hate to read, when we start listening to the audio that's fucking long as fuck, but we hate to listen to it, but we listen to it anyway. 
when we start saving our money and investing our money instead of going out to the club and then we find out that damn our money is just growing and growing and growing then we start doing the things that we hate the benefits of it is so amazing one thing that you may not be talking about the benefits are so amazing but this is my last game let's see can we end i'm gonna shoot a bad shot just because i know 2k might let me make it so that is a big win for ohio republicans as well and secretary uh, what do you think ohio at this point looking at the way the votes have been coming in a midwestern state we used to talk about it as a purple state but i'm, uh, I'm gonna actually try to win this game i mean what do you think it can tell i'm gonna actually try to win see some of the other midwestern states go tonight all right, let's see. I'm going to actually try to win. I, I was going to just let him get the dub so I can get on off, but I'm going to try to win. Left them in places like uh, where mm. I grew up in the Akron area, some of these big urban areas around Ohio that had this industrial heritage for many generations, places like the Mahoning Valley and Youngstown, people that have been reliable Democratic voters for years just don't buy the line that the Democrats are selling. And so they've been coming over to the common sense conservative policies of people like Donald Trump and, and Bernie Sanders. I really Bernie. dislike this driven system. And of just course, so Ohio became ugly. a national, international stage. Then they put him in a position for the offense, a rebound, and a wide open budget. About, and as was Donald Trump, Haitian immigrants uh, in Springfield eating their pets and so on. Has that impacted the turnout in Springfield? Yeah. No, I don't really think so. And, and really, it's a shame that it took uh, social Damn, media I said I'm going to try to win, huh? Things like <laughs> that to highlight a, a uh. community, a community that's dealing with all right let's see can we play some defense an infrastructure that's not meant to deal with an influx like that there are people that are really suffering there in springfield and thankfully donald trump and uh, he's trying to drive to the paint attention to that so those problems i'm on 2k uh but that's not necessarily the view of within is that my ball okay all right i think we might be able to win let's see what we got that they were making i'm just trying to get an easy bucket oh bro i had a wide open dunk <laughs> they made me do that it's just so hard with this game bro i got a wide open dunk and i do a fucking hop jumper community that sees a massive influx all right i think we still got a chance to win it was a mismanaged situation by the Biden right. administration to allow i had a wide open bucket up in a community where and they let him catch up to me uh, we had families that came in and they uh, integrated into the community this game is a mess man like 20 30 000 is just not manageable all right we're gonna get this done we're gonna get this done man we're gonna get this done yeah who's joining us tonight thank you so much for being with us on our program Thank you so much. Happy election day. <laughs> Same <day. laughs> We got the dub, baby. Uh, Chat, the warrants is terrible, uh, man. And, to to Katrina, you know, the warrants is never clean. It's hard to have a clean warrants game. Now, you see me on the 3v3s. Ohio, we it's clean. But the warrants is always shitty. Let's see how that goes. But there you go. thank y'all for the support. May y'all have a blessed night. I'm about to go hit this water. Let me see. I, I just, just took my bath, so I'm going to go. Yeah, me bad. Yeah, y'all have a good night, man. Thank y'all for the support. Really grateful. Oh, so I did have seconds, but I think I'm gonna say that for one. Taco was good, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna see who win this election shit. But I'm about to go to bed. Then again, I probably ain't gonna see who win ten in the morning because like it really don't fucking matter to me. To uh, but again, just to explain the way things work but in the US, y'all have a blessed night, man. Thank y'all for the support. I'm truly grateful. The country, Hopefully, see y'all back here tomorrow, man. Y'all be safe. Thank y'all for the support.